name's Janae Tires with Tires Essentials, and today we're gonna make one of our favorites, black raspberry vanilla cheesecake soap, okay? This is gonna smell so good. It's gonna be perfect for like the summer, Mother's Day, you know, it's just a popular fragrance. So let's jump on in and start making the soap. So I'm about to do my embeds here, so I'm just gonna melt, let's see about how much this is gonna be. Some clear melt and pour. Let's do five ounces. Five ounces of melt and pour here and pop it in the microwave until just melted. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we've mixed this and there's like a little baby chunk of um, soap left in there. And so I'm just gonna keep stirring it around so we can get that to melt down because I just don't wanna overheat it because I hear if you overheat your clear melt and pour soap base that it can sweat like even more. So as you can see here, we have some, um, just some shavings that I had left over for some, from an old soap. And I'm going to try to do something fun with these a little bit later. So you'll, you'll see what happened with that. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the melted, um, melt and pour here. It's kind of been sitting here. So it's got a little skin on the top. Might pop it back in the microwave for a few seconds, but, um, I'm going to do, here's a little trial by fire. We're going to create our raspberry color. And maybe like a eighth of a teaspoon of that. So I'm going to take a little bit of this um, Love Shack by Muddy Soap Co. And we're going to put some pink in. Like a pinkish red for our raspberries. Oh, so this is really kind of thickening up on me. If you can see that, so I'm gonna pop it in the microwave just for a little bit more. I pop this in just for a few more seconds so that um, we're able to actually mix in our colorants. And I think I'm gonna also give it a little bit of red liquid dye. So it's probably about you know, 10 drops because I wanted to have like the mica gives it a shimmer the red dye really kind of solidifies the color and I think we're about ready to pour this into the mold so this is the raspberry mold and this was done by hand with um, silicone and real raspberries so I'm just gonna fill this in and um, let it cool for a bit and then pop them out and I only need 10, so we'll do this process about three times. But of course, if I had more molds, this process would go a lot faster. That's all right. We all gotta start somewhere, right? that's already setting up. I'm going to pop it in the uh, refrigerator for just a few minutes and we'll move on to the next ones. Okay, we've got 12 beautiful raspberries. Look at those. Look at that color. I like it. I'm going to move on with the same technique with the black raspberries. For the black raspberries, I have, you can see I made some before, but I have this mold and I got this from my friend. So I'm not sure where she got it from, but they come out really nice. Nice size black raspberries. So we're gonna move on to those next. This is um, Pow Pow Purple by Mad Micahs. And I'm gonna try to purple this up a little bit. Cause I wanted to have this kind of like um, warm undertone to not warm, like a cool, like a cool purple undertone to the black that I'm gonna put in here to create that black raspberry look. I'm gonna keep going with this purple because that red is a lot stronger than I thought it was. So we wanna get it purpley. Okay. This is some black mica that I, um, a pearly black mica that I got off of Amazon, not YouTube. And we're just gonna take some of that. 
and we're just gonna add that into the melt and pour. And I'm just gonna keep going until we get a nice black color. I don't know, it might be like a teaspoonful almost at this point. Let's see if we can get there. You can see, oh, that's getting, getting really close to what I want. Right now it's like a really dark purple. I mean, that's, that's, that's almost it. I think that might be it, you guys. I just want you to see I'm holding it closer to the camera so you can see it. Go into the mold. Super fun. And like I said, I'm just going to pop it into the refrigerator for maybe like, like, I think it was less than five minutes. I think it was like three minutes and it was ready to pop out because they're so small and they cool down so fast. And um, the details don't have to be like perfect because they're just, you know, natural looking raspberries. So they can, they can come out pretty fast. I'm holding this in my hand so you can see it. Normally you wouldn't do this, but I think it's kind of cool to see the details up close. What do you think? All right. And it's starting to cool down already, but that's all right. Oops, got a little crazy on that one. The backs I'm not really caring about because they're gonna stick down into the soap uh, on the frosting. So that's okay. Okay. All filled up, and now we're gonna pop it into the refrigerator for a few seconds or a few minutes. Okay, so now we have our black raspberries done. All right, now on to making the actual soap base. Okay, so I've pre-mixed my colors and a little bit of the oil from the um, soap mi uh, base mixture. And we have got Pow Pow Purple with a little bit of the Trial by Fire by Nurture Soap. And then we used a little bit of this um, corn mica powder I got from Amazon here. And then we also have our white and titanium dioxide. And we've got our oils all pre-measured here. Look at the crazy that I work within. Hey, it can't all be perfect all the time, right? Okay, so I'm just going to take this lye water that I have um, already pre-mixed with about two teaspoons of sodium lactate. And we're going to pour this into the oils. Beautiful. And then we are going to mix this a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix my fragrance oil in here. Some of this gold mica. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like mixing it up just a little bit so that it will incorporate into this little bit of batter that I'm gonna put in here. Not a lot. All right, and I'm putting in here just enough to cover the base. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of oatmeal because I want to give it a little bit of texture. Maybe about two teaspoons full. Not too much. All right, we've got the child and his force is strong, all right? Okay, so then we're just gonna mix this in and then I'm gonna pour it 
into the bottom of the mold. My idea is that this would be kind of like that graham crackery crust color for the bottom of our cheesecake. Yeah. Hand it here, but I just want to see you, let you see that get poured in. There it is. Cheesecakey color. So we're just gonna pour off as much as we think we need for that. It's getting thick already, but that's all right. I wanna do about half of it. For our cheesecake color. And so I'm hoping to get like a, hmm, this is still kind of warm, kind of brown. More yellow and white. I don't think we're there. I got considerably lighter after I stick blended it. Considerably lighter. Just trying to break the fall with the spatula. There you go. Poured that a little too high and it kind of broke the fall. Broke the plane. But I'm trying to get in there because it's moving kind of fast. Okay, so this is really setting up, but we're gonna try to keep going. All right, so we're gonna add in our white for our base. And it's gonna try to stir that in. You can see how thick that is, but I'm hoping that this will still work with me. before we finish off with this white. Beautiful pink color. It's so thick now, I'm not even worried about it breaking the, pan the plane, you know? I'm just trying to lay in a nice little layer of a reddish pinkish color. Just, I'm just pouring this into a, a mold real quick and I'll be up there for you guys. Just pouring this into the mold. Okay, so um, on my pour into the mold, I had a customer come in and I uh, might have missed a few details, but that's all right. My kids have come to join us for the latter half of this soap design. Hi. That's Cornell. That's Janelle. <laughs> okay, so these are the pre-mixed oils for the soap frosting. We're gonna scent it with black raspberry vanilla from New York Scent, okay? That's the same fragrance we put into the base. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the titanium dioxide to the lye water. I'm gonna put that in the lye water. Beautiful. Here's lye water. 
I'm not bad to breathe in. It's it's bad to breathe in um, when it's hot and doing its steamy thing. Right now it's been sitting and it's um, about room temperature right now. So we're not getting that steaminess coming off of it. Oh. So now we're just gonna mix that into the water, into the oil with the titanium dioxide in there. And I'm just gonna scrape to get all the titanium dioxide out of there. We're just gonna let this set for a while until it gets thick enough for us to pipe it and we'll load it into the piping bag. Janelle, what are you about to do? I'm about to pop out berries. Mm, you already popped out one. Let's pop some more. Pop Show us how to do more. it. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah. Oh, it's got tiny soap on. <laughs> Put the raspberry with the rest of the raspberries. Good job, Cora. Create like some graham cracker crumbs out of soap. So I saw this done by I, I saw this done by I Dream of Soap, and it was really cool because it really adhered really well to the soap, and um, I like the idea of all my toppings being actual like soap particles. <laughs> all right, let's go do it. So I'm just putting them into this um, little coffee grinder here. Let's see if, how much we can get in there, and. and uh, give it a couple of pulses and see what happens. See if it breaks up and such a nice crumb. Oh my goodness, that looks like for real graham cracker crumbs. Is that cool or what? <laughs> okay. You like that, Mouse? Yeah. All right, beautiful. Let's do some more. Good. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of this uh, mica powder here and maybe try to give it a little bit more of a graham crackery color. So, and you know, I probably could have let my um, soap shavings dry out a little bit more and we'll get a more of a flaky look. But I think this is pretty good. And I'm just gonna take some of this mica, about, about that much of it, and pour it, pour it in. And my idea is to kind of cover it and give it more of a toasted, um, graham crackery look. What do you think? Yeah. Looks good. More graham crackery? Yeah. It, and, um, it looks like you have enough for that. Good. Should I go a little bit darker? Yeah. A little darker? I'm going to go a little bit darker. So the soap was just from shavings from some um, other soaps we made, but it was, the other soaps we made were pretty recent, so it was still kind of soft. So see, it's almost like making like these little little chunks, and I'll get less of those. It'll be more flaky and crumbly if it, if it had a chance to dry out more, but I'll grab some of the smaller chunks, and I'll grab some of the smaller chunks and, and give it that, the ones that look more like graham cracker crumbs. And now we're piping. I'm hoping this stays nice the whole way through. Is it staying nice right now, would you say? Uh, you know, yeah, I think it's pretty good. It might be a little too soft. But, I mean, it's pretty. That's what we like. We want it to look like a, a delicious, Raspberry vanilla dessert. Does it look delicious, Beans? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not even with all the sparkles and uh, glittery stuff, it still like looks really shiny and nice and delightful. Oh, thanks, Beans. <laughs> 
Oh, but we are definitely putting on some shiny glittery stuff. Mm -hmm. You know that. Looks like um, whipped cream, huh? Yeah. I feel like if it looks like whipped cream, we did something right, right? Yeah. Looks really good. All right, one last dollop on the top. Okay, so we're gonna dust this with a little Sparkle Me Red by Mad Micah's. And I'm just gonna loosely kind of shake this on. Ooh, so pretty. Ooh, might be sprinkled, sprinkled a little bit too much, but it's worth it. I don't think there is no such thing as too much uh, glitter beans, what do you think? Nope. Well, maybe sometimes we do it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, sometimes we do. We just want to make it look like a deliciously frostily goodness. All right, how's that look? Looks great. So I'm thinking one on the top here, and I'm thinking uh, one on the side, and try to match the size. One on the other side, like a berry crown. Pretty? Yeah. Okay, we can keep on going. This is setting up really fast. It's like... It's hard? Yeah, I have to really push it in. giving me some serious resistance. And I'm trying to decide whether I want them straight up and down or if I want them like sticking out to the side. I feel like I want them straight up and down. You want what shaping up in there? The, the side berries. Oh. Almost look like berry horns. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off these last two, hopefully to Go in there, not be too hard. Okay. It's it's a toughie. They're going in right now so far. Two more berries. <laughs> One right here to finish it off. And one right there to finish it off. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Looks great. Okay. Uh, What's this? We are missing some berries. Ooh. Now you're gonna approve no, my that work. Was, that was no. That. Oh yeah. You know what we're supposed to do? Our cream cracker. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can get our grandfather comes on. Whoa, my. 
Oh, it looks great with that. Uh, right, these gold. are our graham cracker crumbs. Okay, you can get closer so you can get a nice get a shot right here. Okay. Ready? Oh, I wasn't really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's that look? Pretty good? Yeah. I don't get too crazy with it, but see, we don't want no big chunks. A little bit of alcohol to hopefully make them stick. Oh my goodness. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, I wish you could smell it. Mmm, take a whiff. It's delightful, okay? We've got the raspberries on top. We've got that grand cracker crumble crust on the bottom. Some cheesecake, a little bit of raspberry filling, some swirl and some whipped cream, some crumbles on top. This bar has everything. Oh, this was so much fun. It was a labor of love. It took a quite a while to get this one down. Um, there's some things I might change up next time, but overall, I love how it came out. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you can be aware of all of our upcoming videos. This little baby will be available for sale on our website in about four to six weeks after it cures. And um, so definitely check out www.tiresessentials.com to see some of our other bath treats we have available. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.